Today in Nityananda TV News. Morning satsang with Paramahamsa Nityananda. Materialization during inner awakening in San Diego. Ingenious program for kids. Nityanandam and welcome to Nityananda TV News 2013. Now for today's top stories. Morning satsang with Paramahamsa Nityananda. Today, Mahadeva is gracing us in the form of removing the curse of the white elephant, the Airavata. Once Dhruvasa cursed Airavata for abusing Shiva's prasadam. So later on, the Airavata came to Madurai worship Sundareshwara and got rid of the curse. Today Mahadeva is gracing us in that form. And the Gurukul kids are also sitting in that form to enact the Leela. expand on the various process, methods, nitty-gritties involved with completion today we are starting the inner awakening program level 2 first day itself we will be working on the root patterns in a deeper level because from today you are going to start completing with others today is Raksha Bandhan my blessings Mataja Parvati Devi Pita Devo Maheshwaraha Bandava Sivabhaktascha Swadesho Bhuvanatrayam Mata is Parvati, Pita is Mahadeva. So the whole world is brothers and sisters. All the sons of Mahadeva are brothers and sisters. All the three world is my native place. My country. So the whole world is our brothers and sisters. Blessings to everyone on this auspicious occasion of Rakshabandhan. All my disciples, everyone who is part of our Sangha, will observe and celebrate Raksha Bandhan. Just as Swamiji said, there was a materialization during the Inner Awakening class in San Diego. The Rudraksha bead materialized more sandalwood powder, and the candle wick burned in the shape of an ohm. The Ingenious Program, a field of all possibilities. This program focuses on a glimpse of the Vedic lifestyle. Children experience the bliss of expanding their inner selves under the guidance of a great living incarnation, Paramahamsa Nityananda, in his energy field. 
Vedic lifestyle is the most ancient celebration in understanding the possibilities of life. It adds its unique flavor to our expression of who we are as individuals. This multidimensional creative domain of celebration is experienced through imbibing expanded awareness to create a platform of positive and productive life strategizing. Hearts and crafts. Artistic expression is very creative and innovative and takes us back to the evolution of the human heart and the expression of its love towards nature. Various impressionable facets of human nature, like sharing, caring, and loving, are all expressed as a different flow of energies through the hearts and crafts. Goshala. According to the Vedic tradition, cows are sacred animals that provide us with milk, cheese, butter, biofuel, medicine. Goshala is the shelter designed specifically for these animals. Taking care of the animals brings us unconditional joy of our inner selves. Flower Shop Flowers bring in a new dimension of stimulation to our olfactory system. Latest research says that the fragrance of the flower even enhances our intuitive brain. Flowers have a great capacity to heal and balance the emotional component of our brain. Temple. Temples form the core of our rich Vedic culture. Rituals, events, and celebrations in the temples are ingenious, innovative, and colorful expressions of the mind. Temples as part of our lives assist us learn the creative celebratory lifestyle while helping us connect to higher realities. Temple activities can be rephrased as ecstasy in the rich lifestyle. That's all for Nityananda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. It is the being who takes responsibility who is a leader. We'll see you next time on Nityananda TV News. Nityanandam!